done tanning videos. So um, some of the feedback I've gotten or some of the questions I've gotten on my tanning video is, what do I do if I only have one or two hides? So if you only have one or two hides, there's actually an easier way of processing them and that is to do the egg method. The egg method mimics the brain method and you don't have to dig around in their little brains. So um, I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Step one, you've got your two raw hides. They look like this once you've pulled them off. This is the butt, this is the neck. I use scissors, you can use a razor blade and that actually leads to less uh, hair loss, but I'm just trying to be quick for the video. So you're gonna wanna open these up where when you do the alum method, you don't need to open them up. So we're gonna open them up. Woo See, I lost a lot of fur there. Because you need the flesh to be laying flat. And step one is just going to be to preserve these hides. And we're gonna do that by salting them. You can just use um, coarse kosher salt. Any kind of salt is fine. I like the coarse salt because it's just easier to get off. Be really liberal with this. Uh, salt is cheap and salt will prevent the flesh from starting to decompose. So get that nice and covered. And then once I do that, I just kind of stop and then massage it in a little bit. Make sure you get the little armsies and the edges. And then once I get this massaged in, I'll actually do kind of another layer of it. Okay, I got my coarse salt all massaged in, so now I'm actually gonna do a second layer with finer salt. It's just my method. You can use one kind of salt, but I just like to make sure that it is salted. And then you're going to leave these hides for two days. And so that is it. For day one. Bye. Bye. Okay, so it has been 48 hours. These things have been heavily salted. Uh, they're getting a little dried out, so I need to really make sure that I'm I'm working with these now. So um, what some people do is they'll actually tack them down to a wood board to keep them stretched so they don't shrink up like mine have done. The only reason I don't do that is because then you have little finishing nail tack holes, and when you flush, they're really likely to tear. So I just let them shrink up and then I'm just gonna stretch them out in the stretching process. So step two is to get all the salt off. I'm using a, a flat metal thing. And you just wanna scratch your salt off. You really wanna get all that salt off. Don't do this in your grass, because it will uh, fry anything that it gets on. Okay, so if you are having a hard time working with the salt or if your hides have gotten um, a little bit dried out and you're having a hard time flushing it, you can go ahead and rehydrate them in a bucket like this. Just It's just water. It'll um, Don't worry about it because you're going to wash these after the egg tan anyway, so if they get wet again, it's totally fine. Um, so for flushing, what you want to get off is see all this slimy fat? This is a... Uh, it's fat and flesh and stuff that will rot and not tan well, you want it down to the leather. So you can use any kind of a flushing tool or a flat surface or your fingernail it's going on the edges and then you just peel it like this. So see, we've got this fat here, this all comes off. And then the leather feels kind of dry. I mean, it's got a much different feeling, slimy, dry. So I'm just gonna keep on pulling all this stuff off till I get it all off. All right, so I've got them flushed now. This is my yucky little fat and extra skin. I didn't do a perfect job on this one, so I'll probably keep this one for myself. Something I didn't really think about when I pulled these two hides is that these rabbits were about a year and a half old. When they are over like four or five months, they get a lot harder to not only process, taking the fur off these guys is a real bear, um, but they're also a lot harder, like four times harder to skin, or I mean to uh, flesh if you're gonna do the hide. So if you have rabbits that are over four months old, really, really think about if the juice is worth the squeeze on those. Uh, if you've got year old rabbits or older, if you're uh, keeping the hides for yourself, I would say it's worth it. If you're planning to sell them, you're not gonna get more than like $10 a hide if you're lucky. It's not worth it. So anyway, my mom wanted a black and white hide and it's almost Mother's Day. So um, I took the time and flushed these guys for her. Uh, I was like a 10 pound baby, so 
Sorry, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I flushed some hides for you. We're going to do step two. Um, I'm doing three eggs instead of two because these were large satin rabbits. And uh, normally it's one egg per hide for the smaller ones, but we're going to do some extras. These are unwashed, unpasteurized eggs. I don't know if it makes a difference, but if you have farm eggs, use those. We don't want the uh, whites. We only want the yolk. So you do the old little fancy baker's trick here. Yolks only. Just go shell to shell. Most people know how to do this. But if you don't, get in your kitchen more often. Okay, we've got the yolk of three eggs now. Beat those yolks up. All right, give that to the cats. Okay, all you're gonna do, you want your hides damp. There's gonna still be damp just from rinsing the salt off of them. Pour some egg on, pour some egg on. So we're gonna go ahead and massage the yolks in. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You want it on every single part. You don't really want to get this on the furs. I mean, if it gets on the edges, it's not going to hurt anything, but try to keep it off the fur. There you go. Again, one yolk should be sufficient. I just like to make sure I have enough. Um, and then once we get that all massaged in, we are going to cover these with a damp towel. You don't want these to dry out during the egg panning process. So we're gonna cover these with a damp towel and we're gonna let it sit like that for 48 hours. If your towel starts to dry out, if it's really hot, just spritz it down. Um, if you have a lot of flies or bees or bugs that are um, bugging your hides and you're gonna have these you know, in a shed or somewhere like that, go ahead and sprinkle a little borax over your towel. So now I've got all my yolk on there. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna take my towel. And you don't want it sopping wet, you just want it damp. Because we're not trying to wash off this yolk. Cover your hide up like that. And again, if you're worried about pests, go ahead and sprinkle some borax over that. They don't like that. That's it for 48 hours. It's been about 36 hours. So it's warm out. So we're gonna call these done. This is, sorry about the wind guys. Um, this has been, this is what you want it to look like. You don't want any fat or membrane on here because it hardens when you go to stretch it. So these are starting to get kind of Hard. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wash all this yolk off. I'm gonna use this lovely uh, Tahitian Renewal. It doesn't matter what you use to wash it. Just don't use conditioner. People use conditioner, but it leaves a residue. Don't do that. Body wash, shampoo, whatever. I use really strong smelling stuff because these things stink. So I'm gonna go turn my hose on. Give it a good rub down. scrub so these don't smell like dead rabbit when they're in your home Our next step is going to be to lay 
lay them flat to dry. Right there, now we've got them laying flat to dry. So for the drying process, this is the part where you have to be really vigilant. If they get totally dried out, you're never gonna be able to stretch them without tearing them and you're gonna have to rehydrate them and start totally over again. So we're gonna be really careful with this. Lay them um, first side down at first so you can kind of, you want the hides to be cool but not totally wet, just sort of tacky. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply counter pressure and don't grab too close to the edges or they're just gonna tear off. They're really fragile when they're wet. And you see how you get that white? That um, That's when you're breaking the fibers. With hide fibers, you've got fibers basically going every which way. So you need to stretch every way to break the fibers in every direction. So right now they're still pretty wet, but I'm just going to go along and I'm going to start stretching these. And then a few hours from now, I'll come back when it's a little bit more dry. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to do this again. All right, this is uh, the last and final step. So these are pretty much dry. I've just been stretching them as I go out there every couple hours. But um, what you wanna do around the edges is you just wanna grab and just kind of pull out, but be really careful. The edges are what get really crunchy. So anywhere where it's white is where it's been all broken up. So you just want to make sure that you get your whole leather white. So um, this is really soft and pliable already. And that's what you want. And then the fur is still a tiny bit damp, but you can see it's really flush. It looks really good. So as soon as these are all the way dry, I'm just going to take some mink oil, which I have right here, and then you just massage it into the leather. It helps preserve it a little bit, keeps it soft and supple. Um, if you're going to be storing them, store them leather to leather, not leather to fur. Otherwise, the oil will get onto the fur. And um, one thing I do want to mention is these are not waterproof. So if you want these to be waterproof, if you're gonna be making like, you know, cool Russian hats out of them or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to smoke these suckers. Um, I'm gonna do another video on smoking hides, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So anyway, these are going to be a nice tan, soft hide for you, but again, not waterproof. So if you wanna waterproof them, smoke them, but that's how you do an egg pan.